What's up guys, welcome to The Rundown with Zynga. I'm your host, Zynga. This week we are going to discuss the Leandro case. You ever heard of it? Heard about an unelected judge ordering the North Carolina legislature to adopt a particular education spending plan? Ever heard of the phrase, power of the purse? Leandro versus the state of North Carolina is a case that goes way back since 1994. And it's hung over the heads of education policy makers in North Carolina ever since then. Basically, the suit argued that the state wasn't meeting its constitutional mandate, specifically when it comes to basic sound education for at-risk students. Well, the judge agreed and ruled that North Carolina did have a responsibility to provide every single child with sound, basic education and that at-risk students weren't getting that. But North Carolina does have a sound, basic education mandate. It's also very clear when it comes to the power of the purse. So according to our state constitution, the General Assembly, who represents the people of North Carolina, has complete control over the power of the purse. That means our state legislature are the shot callers when it comes to our budget. Here we are in 2021 in an unelected county trial judge is ordering the legislature to spend billions of dollars that they haven't decided to spend. As a matter of fact, the legislature is objecting this rule. Also, this multi-billion with a B dollar plan happens to line up with Governor Roy Cooper's education plan. Also, Roy Cooper is a defendant in this case. That seems a little bit off, but it's actually a lot off. But let's take a step back for a moment. So for most of the last 25 years, this one judge retained oversight of the suit. But in the last few years, a different judge took over this case, and that's where things get a little bit interesting. In 2017, the new judge created a new tone when he denied the request of the State Board of Elections to be released from the suit. The board argued that the funding issues in question had been argued over the course of 20 years. Republicans in the state legislature had been increasing funding for education and passing teacher raises for years. Then in March of 2018, the new judge appointed a California-based consultancy, West Ed, to generate a report. This cost $2 million and they worked in conjunction with far left outlets. So the report was submitted in June of 2019 and it recommended a multi-billion dollar spending plan. In 2020, last year, this judge doubled down. He took the power of the purse from the state legislature and demanded that they implement this multi-billion dollar plan. He even issued deadlines for compliance without the state legislature being involved in any of it. And it turns out the Cooper administration helped pay for that report. The very report they're now defending against? So all of this mess pretty much reeks of far left influences. We have a far left governor in Roy Cooper. We've got a far left judge activist, all in order to sidestep the legislature and force a big government and a big spending program on North Carolinians. So the next time someone asks you, what's this Leandro thing about going on in the news? Point them to this video. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been The Rundown with Zynga, and I'll see you next week.